Hey guys, what's up? i um, back and uh, I got something in the mail. This isn't a trade confirmation, but it is uh, something I've been waiting for to get. I'll give you a hint. It's an EDH deck. I got some Dragon Shields to put it in and I've heard varying reviews on these, so I was going to try them out, see if they're good. Um, but So first, let's go ahead and open this. Um, I believe there's a side there, there. Oh, hang on. There we go. My good God, they just taped the crap out of this. Okay. So, that away. Wrapped it in a Target bag. How good that did. Okay, and it is. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, this is the Heavenly Inferno EDH deck. Um, yeah, I thought I, I wanted it. Uh, I could. I decided on getting that. Getting one of the. Uh, that getting a uh, the, the one with the oversized cards would just be too much so I, I just decided upon getting just the deck itself uh, so we have obviously Kalia the Vast as our general or possible generals number of runes or resolve guild mage and I thought this is kinda cool because it's like the first Ravnica so it's going to have some of those cards in it, too. Uh, Boros Guild Mage. Uh, Gwillian Hedge Mage. Dwarf Hedge Mage. Lightkeeper of Emeria. Oh, sorry about my uh, dogs here. They're going a little crazy. Razor Jaw Onai. Anger. Voice of All. Dragon Welt. Furnace Welt. Sarah Avatar, Shattered Angel, Fallen Angel, uh, Bazanda Battle Seraph, it's a nice card, uh, Onai of the Wild Places, Mana Charged Dragon, sweet. And if you haven't figured out, um, I am going, this is just kind of a thing so I could get, I, I needed some of the cards in this. Um, plus I, I think some of these guys are badass, like Oros the Avenger, he's fucking, he looks badass. Um, also, Malfgar looks badass. I don't see, he, he, I'm, he could be a good general in a different circumstance, but. Anyway, so, um, I am going to modify this to have a whole bunch of dragons in it. Um, if you can't tell. <laughs> Cause I love dragons, so, Angelic Arbiter. Archangel of Strife, Teriel Reckoner of Souls, he's pretty badass too. Um, Angel of Despair, Blade Wing the Risen, Avatar of Slaughter, Chroma Angel of Fury, Raver Demon, Dread Kako Demon, Kako Demon, SOL Ring, that was one of the cards I needed. Artillery Spear is nice. Boros Signet. All the Signets in this are awesome. So, Lightning Greaves. Orzhov Signet. Rakdos Signet. Dark Steel Ingot. I wanted that. It's awesome. Soul Snare. Vow of Duty. Vow of, Vow of Malice. Uh, Stranglehold. It's a new card for EDH. Uh, Pyrohemia. Righteous Cause, Bathe in Light, Terminate, Orange Thunder, Mortify, Congregate, Return to Dust, Serv Sulfurous Blast, Wrecking Ball, Master of Warcraft, I thought that's kind of funny, um, Cleansing Beam, Comet Storm, you know, it also I thought it's kind of cool how most of the cards in this are either 
rare. Or, there's a lot of rares and mythics, and then uh, and very few commons, and then a couple of uncommons too. Siphon of the Mind, Dynamic Tutor. It's a nice card. Um, Evan Carr's Justice, Siphon Flesh, Akroma's Vengeance, Death by Dragons. Sick. <laughs> Earthquake. And then for lands, we have Akroma's Refuge, uh, Baron Moor, Bahoka Bog, Barrow's Garrison, Command Tower is amazing, Evolving Wilds, Forgotten Cave, Molten uh, Slag Heap, Orzov, uh, ba bas uh, Orzov Basilica, I think. Rakdos Carrium, a uh, return, sp re uh, rupture spire, secluded step, vivid meadow, Socratic cavern, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight planes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, swamps. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mountains. So eight of each, basically. And again, I'm sorry about my uh, dogs over there. They bark at everything that walks by this house. Oh, let's try and get them all out. There we go. And there's one more. So I got. I went with the red sleeves for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve these two cards up. Um, see how they kind of feel. Um, so I've seen some good reviews on these uh, dragon shields, and I've seen some ones where they're like they can be miscut, and they can be they can uh, come with not exactly a hundred, either like a hundred and ten or ninety. Obviously, hundred ten is good, but so. I'm just going to sleeve these three. Um, it seems right. They seem the right size and they shift up fairly nicely. They do. Maybe this is just because they're new, but they are kind of bent. They're kind of... It feels like there's like air in them. They're really like... You see that? Like they're... It feels like... It feels kind of weird. Um, I'll, t I'll talk about it uh, later in another video when I have all of them sleeved, but they feel fa fairly nice and it's pretty good amount of sleeves for the value. Um, also what I was going to do with this later was um, since uh, you don't get the awesome oversized commander cards, I was just going to buy them separately because instead of paying 80 bucks and getting the thing with all of them, you can just go on and get each commander individually for like two bucks one like one to two bucks and it's the foil commander oversized card so I'm gonna go I'm gonna do that and uh, then also at the same time I'm gonna buy uh, some oversized commander sleeves for my other commander cards cuz you know gotta keep them foil giant commander cards protected <laughs> anyway uh, thanks for watching, and I think I have been trading with a couple of people. I should be getting some trades in and sending some trades out soon, um, and stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.